hello welcome back to my channel my name is Amber Kelly and this is day two of my end of January I don't know if that sounds right but like I said all of this month I will be doing a video a day until my surgery date uh, like I said today is day two um, it is about 9:22. I took care of my personal hygiene, simple comfy sweater, and some more gray pants. Um, last night I started on my son's hair, and I'm going to show you what he has. So he has dreadlocks, and this is what I'm doing. And as you see, he has. He has a lot of new growth. So, those are the plans for today. And also, the plans for today, I'm going to see if I can get a full day of what I have going on. Um, after yesterday, I was so sore when I got done cleaning up. Um, yeah, I slept. Uh, but I did have a long night. I didn't go to sleep until, what, 12.52? So, I stayed up for quite a while. So, if you'd like to see this video, keep watching. I say good morning. Good morning. So, like I said, this is normally when I'm getting ready to do his hair. I sit him down right here. He is watching, what is this? PBS Kids. PBS Kids. I don't know super why. I guess that's what it is. But, what I'm going to do is because he is going to the library with his brother I am going to do this back part right here Tell me. just this back part right here this top part right here I'm going to do it when he comes back and I'm just going to comb these little book shots right here yeah we're going to comb all that uh, what I use to twist his hair is this locking gel the mango and lime jamaican i use that i use clips and because and i also use scissors because his hair i do not twist my kids hair every week i only twist their hair maybe every couple of months um so some of their hair is together and instead of him crying and screaming, I just get close to the root, put my finger in it, and then cut what is mangled together. So, like I said, this little section is what I'm about to do, and then I'm going to send him on his way. The other kids are cleaning up so they can eat gather the movies and go return the movies and spend time at the library and then they will come back um home and the library is really really close so and both of my older kids have cell phones so we're good okay so i guess i am going to film this and going to speed this process up let's go
Okay, so I am done with the back of his head. Like I said, they're going to go to the library. I'm going to stop right here, give him a break, and I'm going to finish the rest when he comes back. This is the front. Yes, he needs a haircut, all that. We're going to get that together too, but this is how much I got to do in the front. This is his little facey. How do you feel? Good. Yeah, he is not, he's holding his head like it still needs to wash your face. Um, so, he always hates these days. But after a couple of days, it will loosen up. And I try not to do it tight, so. Yeah, that's Aaron. All right, go get your brother, Elijah. And again, he's watching Super Y and get ready. Come here. And this is my, this is why I do his hair last because, oh my God, this is so much. And yeah, this is a lot. Um, so I'm going to attempt to section his hair off so when I do start it won't be so bad uh, yeah and yeah so like I said section it off when he comes back and do it um, one section at a time he his hair attracts a lot of stuff um, they have had dreads. This is their second go around with dreads. So they've had dreads for over two years. If I'm not mistaken, we did this in 2016 and we're back at it again. So I will be back. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, I have to section this off. So. And I only have two things, so he is going to get two ponytails at the top. And anybody that knows, anybody that has dreads knows that you are not to twist your hair very often because the more you twist it the thinner your hair will get so like I said I wait till they have a lot of new growth and then I won't have to twist it for another four to six months usually that's how long I wait six months you can come across so Miles tell me how you feeling right now about this Okay, just give me that look then. Mom, how are you feeling about this man's hair? Um, some days I won't cut it. Some days I don't. Okay, okay. Miles, do you feel like you should get your hair cut? No. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Do you feel like Aaron should get his hair cut? No. Do you like the way your hair is? Yes. Do you like the way Mom does it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> And this is where he starts to sound like a robot. Oh. He sounds so programmed. Exactly. How do you feel about him acting like a robot and being programmed? Um, if he wants to be a robot today, he could be a robot today. Oh, and um, yeah. the guy behind the voice is Elijah Kelly, the second oldest. Well, the first oldest. Well, nope, second oldest. Only by a couple of months. Yeah. Oh, you need to want to watch Super Wide, don't you? Oh wait, isn't that movie? Movie? Well, you got back book shots. I ain't, I ain't see back book shots, Mama. Do you have clothes on? Okay, get your jacket out. You gotta eat and put your shoes on. Dang, I gotta go eat. 
So what I'm doing is just putting it into three ponytails. I'm pretty sure this back ponytail, I'm not even gonna attempt it because the rubber band is too small and his hair is too fat or too swollen or too thick right now. Too thick. Okay, he said it's too thick, so it's too Do you like the right word now. thick for, to describe your hair? Yes. Yes, okay, yes. Are you the interviewer to that? Yes. Okay. How do you feel about your hands on his hair? I don't know what kind of question it is, sir. As in, do you feel like that his hair is, is you, it's too like thick, like your hands will get like stuck in there? Um, no, because I've been doing it for a while. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Continue. I'm done. Oh, that's so, it. Go on about your day, sir. That's the finishing part up. Well, that's not. <laughs> Okay, yep, get in front of the camera like that. And this was the face, I mean the voice behind the camera. I know, so cool, so. This is the foolishness that I go through. <sighs> bye bye. Every morning, okay? So um, I'm going to get them off on their way and then we are going to tackle that area right there. And I think I'm going to do my window seals today. So, stick around. Okay, so I have taken everything down that I was going to throw away. I have I'm going to do the window seals and I don't feel like keep going back and forth to the garbage can. So, just got a big bag. Um, I have some books that I am going to donate to my church. Um, I know they do Christmas things, so books can be stocking stuffers and they do have a little bookstore so around Christmas time. Um, these can be ready and my kids are not reading these anymore uh, they have outgrown these books so documents that I need to look over, make sure that I don't need them anymore, so I'm going to do that off camera, uh, and I'm going to, whatever I don't need, I'm going to tear it up, because people do go in your garbage cans, and yeah, they will steal your whole life from a garbage can, so shred and tear your stuff up. Um, this is a Harry Potter um, series. 
series. This is the uh, this is the complete series, so year one through seven. So I'm going to go ahead and give this to my bigger son. He can keep this in his room. I don't need any more books in my room. <coughs> and I'm going to <coughs> give them. Jeez, okay. I'm going to give them this big dictionary to put in their rooms too. Like I said, they read books. So, when they, <coughs> when they have those moments that they are reading books, they can have some ready for them. That way I don't have to, they don't have to come in here and manhandle my shelf. No, man. This bottom shelf is for anything educational related. These are books for them to read. That is my planning shelf right here. And the top shelf is just some more um, little books. Okay. So, like I said, I am done with that. I don't know why I just plopped down on this floor. Get your life. Um, I emptied out my garbage can over here that I need to start using instead of being um, lazy and using my trash bags over here. So, <coughs> oh. this is what it looks like for me when I clean up. let them keep this in their room but my walls will be covered and crayon pieces and marker pieces will be everywhere they will not be able to find any pieces or anything so this particular stuff here I just keep in my room and I let them get it um, as I see fit so to um, move some of this stuff out and then I'm going to push this table back and then we're going to move on. Okay, so I am back again. Um, it's about one o'clock right now and I honestly don't know if I'm going to have to get to these windows. I'm tired. Already. I mean, I like the progress that my room is taking. But, sister girl is tired. And my stomach right under here is starting to swell up. Which is not so I am going to clean this shebang I'm going to organize these games over here put them at this bottom shelf bring everything up you know just like I said organize it clean it up um, I 
and after I do that, I will be working in my Cultivate What Matters Goal Setting Journal. So I will be working in that. Um, upload some planning videos that I already recorded. Um, and just chill out. Um, I think once I do this, and then I'll come back and just show y'all my um, nighttime routine. Hubby um, has to work tonight, so he will be gone. Uh, I'll just show you how I wind down and I will go to sleep. So, yeah, so let's get finished cleaning. Right. I am officially done with this stand right here. Like I said, just add the two dumb heads right there. Um, got my looms together, straighten up my hats, put my projects that I need to finish right there. I have extra cups in my room just in case somebody don't wash dishes right. I have my own personal tumblers and the kids games are down here. Okay, this is the end of the night. I am tired. It is
So, I'm going to do my little nighttime routine. Normally, I go and because I have a lot of windows, I go in and I close my blinds and do the curtains. And what else do I do? That's about it. Seriously. Uh, I do have a trash bag that I got just from today. Okay, can we stop arguing? Um, mommy mode again. Um, I have a trash bag of stuff that I did not need. Uh, I was collecting. So, I am excited about purging of the stuff that I don't need and just didn't have any use for. And he has popped back up. Yeah, so he's just really playing with the camera. But, um, I'm going to show you my little nighttime routine while they're in there doing their boy things, having bro time, watching movies, and I'm going to go to bed. Chillax and.